Hello everyone, welcome to the videos related to ASI's XYZ Tracker plugin. This is video one and in this video I hope to walk you through installing Micromanager, installing the XYZ Tracker plugin itself, running through a hardware configuration wizard of Micromanager and a few other tasks that might help you running the plugin. So let's begin with uh, downloading Micromanager. You can find it at micromanager.org go to the download section the current version of micromanager that's meant for release is pretty old and it doesn't have some of the features that the plugin uh, needs to uh, properly function so let's get the latest nightly build instead you want the 1.4 uh, currently plugin version 3.3 uh, only supports uh, Micromanager version uh, 1.4. Uh, 1.3 is too old and 2 is too new as well. Get Windows. Currently the plugin also only supports Windows. Uh, so this is the latest build and uh, you can go back and get older versions also if you like. But the latest build probably mostly has the best bug fixes and everything. There's a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. Get the one that's most appropriate for your system. Download and install it. When you download it, it should install. When you install it, it should install typically in program files under Micromanager 1.4. Okay. Uh, plugin doesn't come right now with micromanager as it's not finalized yet and it needs a few libraries that's not available in the micromanager repository so it's hard for them to compile it so you need to request ASI for a copy of this plugin ASI would send you a folder that looks something like this it has the plugin jar itself and then OpenCV libraries that are needed for the plugin the plugin works with OpenCV 2.4.11. You can get this yourself if you like, but ASI is going to send you one anyway. Okay. For the plug to install the plugin, you need to copy the ASI XYZ tracker jar into the MM plugins folder. This folder holds all the user plugins that Micromanager comes with. Uh, you can put it in any folder you like or just leave it here. Anything works. Next, we need to copy the OpenCV library into the plugin folder in Micromanager. This folder holds some of the uh, libraries that Micromanager needs to work. These are uh, softwares and jars. Micromanager, the application itself needs to run. So put OpenCV 2411 uh, here. The, this folder basically has the OpenCV jar and the DLL for the 32-bit version of the operating system and the DLL for the 64-bit version of the operating system. The plugin is smart enough to figure out what version of the operating system you have and used appropriate DLL. If you this that's it for the plugin itself and ASI's drivers and stuff like that. But if you're using a camera and something else, you might be in you might want to check out the device section of micromanager devices and uh, in my case I'm using a point gray camera and in order to use a point gray camera uh, with micromanager I need a few other steps I need to copy the this DLL and the flight capture to DLL into the micromanager folder I've already done that so these are the steps for a point gray camera if you're using a different camera like a Pico or a Hamamatsu uh, or something else, uh, there are different, there's a different procedure. You can find out if you need to do anything by going into the device section and looking for any other devices you plan on installing. So that's it. I'm using a point gray camera, so I have the DLLs already copied um, somewhere here. 
and then I copy the plugins uh, related uh, files as well so now I'm ready to get started Micro Manager launches and if this is your first time running Micromanager you probably don't have a hardware configuration file set up yet so uh, in case you do uh, just select it and get started but I'm going to show you how to uh, generate a startup configuration select none for now and press ok these off we don't need this anymore okay now uh, what the hardware configuration wizard does is it uh, loads up any devices uh, that you want to use with micromanager without an hardware configuration uh, file or startup configuration file micromanager doesn't load any devices so right now there's no cameras no shutters no stages uh, available to us uh, the plugin runs see uh, that's where we put the plugin right just in the plugin folder mm plugin folder so uh, that's available to us plugin runs but we can't pick any stage anything the plugin doesn't work uh, just to be sure the plugin is installed correctly and OpenCV is running properly I in the miscellaneous section of the tab I have a button for, for testing OpenCV running it pressing it runs a small snippet of the code that produces this code it's just uh, called an i matrix and uh, that's how it's supposed to look if you don't see this and you see an error instead uh, that means uh, that we need to troubleshoot contact asi and we can help you out with that for now just clear it and uh, close but uh, we need to run the hardware configuration wizard so for at a minimum for the plugin to work properly we need an XY stage uh, that's how the plugin is going to move the sample to keep it in focus we need a Z focus drive uh, to move the objective to keep the sample in focus uh, we if you like uh, an uh, illuminator or you can run it outside of micromanager as well uh, the camera itself in this case I'm going to use a point is chameleon 3 camera uh, so that's it about so I need an XY stage a Z drive oh yeah the tunable lens uh, which is what the plugin uses for Z tracking a camera uh, an LED illuminator uh, these are the mostly the basic devices you may have further devices like a filter wheel or other uh, devices uh, you can add those but for the plugin it just cares about the XY stage the Z drive the tunable lens a camera okay so since it's a new configuration file uh, select create new configuration click next let's start with the ASI devices the ASI stage Z drive and tunable lenses are kind of controlled by the ASI tiger device the tiger device just has the tiger com hub added do not change the label keep the label as is uh, since this is kind of hard coded into the plugin at the moment okay uh, the plugin or the micromanager or the wizard asks you to enter the port the tiger.com card is at uh, on my computer it's seven okay pick the baud rate as 115200 this is fixed this will never change this will always be 1150 for uh, ASI tiger stage so micro the wizard now connects with the uh, tiger controller and queries it for available devices on it for the plugin to work and for this demo we just need an XY stage we need just one Z drive uh, you, there's no harm in adding further uh, devices uh, T is not related and is not needed for this example but if you like you can add it the tunable lens uh, one of the LED illuminators uh, that's about it uh, for the ASI stages okay next uh, I need a camera and uh, like I mentioned before I have a point gray camera so scroll down here to find point gray there it is chameleon 3 okay, it's already connected and uh, connected to the camera and it's here I just need to add it to the wizard uh, I'm gonna pick advanced uh, mode 
this is uh, only relevant for the point gray cameras uh, pico camera hamamatsu's and other cameras have a different uh, interface that pops up at this point the label for this camera is really long and i don't uh, personally prefer like it so i'm just going to reduce it to something smaller c and 3 that should be good enough next uh, we need to pick out some default devices. It's not totally necessary. Uh, the plugin also has a interface where uh, you tell it what stage to use, what camera to use. But if you like, you can mention it here. Focus stage. The tunable lens also focus it shows up as a focus stage. Uh, but in this case, the Z stage is the more appropriate one. For ASI devices, the convention is positive away from the sample. It's not important for you to set it up, but since we know, we might as well set it up. Nothing here. Uh, you might have something. Uh, position and define labels. If you know what to do here, uh, go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to save it as an example. Okay. We're almost ready now, but I like to do a few uh, other things here to make my life easier uh, while I'm using the plugin. In order to control devices uh, like the camera mode or trigger mode or the LED intensity, you use the device browser and uh, do it through it but as you see it's pretty huge it's pretty overwhelming it's uh it's a pain to hunt the right setting or the property that you want to adjust so instead i add the settings i need uh, most often or the settings i adjust most often into this configuration setting here for that you, you start by pressing the group button plus i like to add the camera mode in point gray binning is done through the mode property and I'm just going to call it mode I like to add the auto gain feature I like to add the pixel type I like to add um, the trigger mode. The plugin can set the camera automatically to internal trigger, external trigger, but I like having uh, access. I like having access to that uh, as well. Next, uh, I like to add the PWM or uh, LED intensity and I like to also add the TigerCom the serial command property of the TigerCom hub this lets me send a serial command directly to ASI controller sometimes it's handy okay so uh, let's uh, save these into the configuration file excellent so um, so let's try and see how the camera is doing okay so it's saturated so uh, let's turn on auto gain okay looks like yep. now we get an image back in uh, view but it sounds like we have too much uh, light already so we don't need such high exposure time and that's slowing down our frame capture rate or uh, the frame rate so let me drop the exposure down to 5 milliseconds and the camera is auto adjusting okay uh, for this application uh, we don't really need the high bit rate uh, high uh, the bit rate this high so I'm just going to drop it to 8 pixels 8 bits a pixel okay cool okay the next is uh, doing all these uh, still our frame rate is pretty low our frame rate is only at 7 and that's because uh, the camera is getting us a 
2048 by uh, 1536 pixels you know uh, that's kind of high and that's slowing it down if I had a faster connection uh, I'm connected to the camera through USB 2 but if I was connected through USB 3 my frame rate would be higher but since it's not and I kind of need slightly higher frame rate for the tracking application I'm gonna then it down using the mode one uh, again these settings are mostly related to the point gray chameleon 3 camera I'm using if you're using a different camera your setup is going to be slightly different ah uh, now my frame rate is down to or up to uh, 30 frames per second uh, the plugin has some control of the camera like it can set the trigger mode it can set um, uh, yeah just mostly the trigger mode and then capture images uh, it can't do these major operations like changing the mode changing the pixel type and that so I would recommend that before you start the plugin um, you know use live view and set up your camera uh, so that way it's working perfectly okay now um, let's launch the plugin okay cool so the plugins acquisition window lets you pick the devices the plugin can use for XY stage the XY stage there's only just one for the Z the Z pick the one that's correct this is the one that has the objective attached and this will move the objective uh, or you might have your uh, focus drive attached to the stage instead so the sample is moved uh, whichever it is uh, pick that the tunable lens this is the uh, tunable lens uh, that's controlled by the tunable lens card. Um, it uh, changes by varying the current. The tunable lens card is able to change the focal length of this lens. This lens is uh, sitting in an assembly right in front of the camera. And it's by changing the focal length of this camera, we're able to change the uh, focus of the image the camera is getting without actually moving the objective the Z tracking application relies on this um, the camera we want to use that yeah and just to be sure everything's okay and running I'm just gonna press the start button and if everything works out right you should be getting two images uh, down image and up image and uh, and to stop it just the stop button Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll cover about installing Micromanager, installing the AISI's tracker plugin, and uh, a few other things uh, that will make using the plugin easier. In the next video, I'll talk about how to do Z tracking, and then a video after that, XYZ tracking. Thank you for watching. Bye.